AQA A-Level Physics Turning Points, and this is my first video uh, about the production of cathode rays. So, now, we know loads about electrons now. Um, lots of people have made various discoveries and contributed to our understanding. Uh, people like George Stoney, uh, Helmholtz, Lorentz, a guy called Plucker, uh, William Crookes, uh, he invented uh, this vacuum tube uh, that we can use to create beams of electrons. Uh, and then this guy here, J.J. Thompson, uh, and he was the first person to get a value for E over M, which is the specific charge of an electron. Uh, usually at GCSE, we say he discovered the electron. J.J. Thompson discovered the electron, and then he went on and did the plum pudding model, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all a bit more complicated than that. There's loads of people have contributed, but he did some very important experiments with cathode rays, and he did get a value for E over M. Uh, interesting that his son was involved in physics and uh, actually first came up with showing that. Um, electrons behave like waves. Some interesting experiments. Anyway, okay, so this is a Crookes tube, uh, and a Crookes tube uses a cold cathode. Now, how does it work? Well, my cathode uh, is this thing here, uh, and in physics, the cathode is negative, um, and that's connected to the negative of a DC power supply. Uh, then my anode is actually down here somewhere. My anode is down here somewhere, uh, and that's connected to the positive of a supply. Yes, uh, and so the electrons are, if the voltage is big enough, the electrons are pulled off, and it's weird because some of them will go down there, and then some of them go across here and shoot past, and you end up with electrons screaming forward like that. OK, so there's your cathode, there's your anode. Uh, and if electrons hit the screen at the back, yeah, then their kinetic energy uh, is turned into light energy. And we see, uh, in this case, a green glow. In these particular tubes here, we have this thing called a Maltese cross. And we can see it on this photo that the Maltese cross is casting a shadow. Uh, and you can do things like making the cross positive and negative and seeing what effect it has. But anyway, this vacuum tube, a very early vacuum tube, it's called a Crookes tube. And it was very important, used in lots of experiments, uh, particularly by William Thompson. Now, a hot cathode. Um, and... If you see these in your class, if your teacher demonstrates these to you, they rely on something called thermionic emission. And what we have here is an electron gun. And an electron gun fires a beam of electrons. Because the electrons are coming from the cathode, we call it a cathode ray. Yeah. Uh, and how are they produced? Well, in, a, in an electron gun, we have a hot cathode. So a filament, like in a light bulb. So this here is a filament, like a light bulb filament. You can actually see it glowing. Hopefully you will see this being done. You see the filament glowing. Uh, so you put a small voltage, an AC voltage, uh, through the filament. It glows red hot, very, very hot. And then the anode pulls the electrons off the filament. OK, so an AC current flows through the filament and then electrons in the filament gain energy and you can think about them dancing on the surface. So lots of electrons dancing on the surface of the filament and then a big voltage, a high DC voltage pulls them off. And then the fact that the cathode is hot makes it much easier to pull them off and you get higher currents and you can do more stuff. So this is an electron gun and be able to describe thermionic emission. Therm, you know, heat energy. Ionic, because it's charged particles. Thermionic emission. So how much energy does an electron gain? 
if my accelerating voltage is V, how much energy does the electron gain? Well, the energy transferred uh, is QV. So that's the, the gain in kinetic energy of the electron uh, is equal to the loss of electrical potential energy. So a half MV squared uh, equals EV, that's QV, W equals QV. Note that this ignores relativistic effects. Later on in this option, we're going to talk about when things dra travel very, very fast, they get heavier uh, and some other weird things happen. So, but ignoring that, assuming that the mass of the electron doesn't change, so we're going to use the rest mass of the electron, which is um, 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Yes, and so a half mv squared equals EV. So here's a sum I would like you to have a go at now. Pause the video, pen, paper, calculator. The rest mass of an electron is blah. It's accelerated through a PD of 50 volts. How much kinetic energy will it gain in electron volts and in joules? Pause the video, do it. And the answer is in three, two, one. So first of all, 50 electron volts. Yeah, one electron, one volt, one electron volt. 50 volts, 50 electron volts. You should be able to convert that into joules. Just multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Uh, and then V is root 2 K, 2 K E over M. Uh, using the rest mass gives you 4.2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Very fast. 